Oh no! <laughs> Alright, well I might be able to get this one out of here, but y'all want to know the bad part? Oh, I made two. <laughs> that one I don't think is salvageable. As you can see, my wood is way down there. This whole piece came apart. Uh, so I don't think I can save that one. This one I might be able to save, so I'm going to try to cut around this with a die grinder. I might put another piece of wood in the center of this just so I have something to get attached to. Looks a little crooked. We'll see how it looks. Um, yeah, I'm just going to kind of cut around it and see if I can get that out of there. It's going to be a big problem right here because that's, that's attached all the way through. So um, we'll see. that back on I don't know maybe I might be able to that's not chipped up real bad I might be able to get it back on there we'll see it's gonna look like poo but we can try I guess so with a big crack down the center there and I still got to get those out <laughs> all right let me figure out what I'm gonna do here This is not what I had planned to do today, guys. <laughs> so, what I'm going to do is uh, scuff this up the best of my ability so that the uh, resin has something to grab a hold of without taking too much of it off because we want it to be really close. We can't see the seam. So, we're going to scuff it up with, I think it's like 80 grit sandpaper, maybe. Uh huh. And then, same in here. I don't know how well this is going to work, but we're going to give it a go. I'm going to put this down in here. Um, yeah, 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 yeah. Something, something. something like that, right there. Uh, we'll set some weight on that so it stays down. Alright, I'm not quite sure how to go about all this, but we're going to... Uh, Dump some in here. Hopefully cover that entire surface. And since I'm at that point there, it with my rag, I am going to now I'll put this piece in there. Quite possibly. <laughs> Something like so. how to weight it down without you know having the same issue I had last time <laughs> all right so let's um I don't even know what do you guys think maybe yeah we can try that and then um all right I'm going with that, and then we're going to put this in here. So you can see my repair here. I'm hoping it stays together. Uh, I did do the other one also, so we'll see if I can get that one turned in time. But uh, you, you can barely see the witness line here. I hope it doesn't affect it too much. 
On the inside, uh, aside from all the colors match, the only thing you can see is this little line here. So hopefully, it blends in better than that. Uh, what I just did was, uh, I'm not quite, uh, I'm doing a little too much of this wobbling. So, um, it's not level on that side, so I'm going to try to grind some of that off so that I can get as close to this center point right here. You see my finger going up and down? Um, because that waste block is in there, and I don't think I have a whole lot of room to play with. I don't know where it's at, so I want this as flat as possible and not doing any of this. So, <laughs> I'm going to do that off camera, and we'll get going on this. All right, so uh, it's not going too bad. Uh, the separations are a little cooler than I thought they were going to be. These are the big, from boring out the center, off of the Forstner bit. Uh, and the white seems to look okay. So I've got to get rid of these steps that are in the bowl, I suppose, that makes the bowl rigid. Uh, so I've got to remove those, cut this down. It still has pieces of um, <laughs> the project it came from. We'll put that over there in the corner with the uh, boat arc or osage orange or osage orange I, whatever I don't live down there so I don't know how to pronounce it sorry if I pronounced it wrong <laughs> but anyways uh, I'm I'm not going to do a whole lot with this because my waste block sank in here and I'm not sure where it's at so I need to cup this in a little bit uh, I'm going to round this off a little better than it is we need to get rid of this stuff here so this kind of well, I would say this dirty green spot is actually osage orange. Um, you can see it in and out of it. I didn't try to remove it. I just left it like it was. Uh, it does look kind of cool as it you know, kind of fades into the white. Uh, the compressing it <laughs> in the pressure pot really messed up my day. Um, I have air pockets I have to deal with. Uh, I do not have the ability to put it in my 4-inch vacuum chamber. <laughs> Um, uh, I don't trust the lid on the other other chamber anymore to use it, uh, so I did not put this in vacuum. I probably could have, and I may have pulled some of that out, but right now it doesn't look too bad, and I'll just I'll, I'll fill them in with something, even if I just got to put a light coat of um, you know resin on it. We'll do a fast set hardener and then sand it up or or something. You know, I don't know. We'll see. Uh, like I said, got to get that out of there, that out of there, that out of there. Um, so, yeah. <laughs> but as of right now, I'm having a difficult time finding my seam. Okay, so here it is right here. So it's it's blending in pretty good. I don't know how well you guys can see it. So I hope it stays together. <laughs> so uh, let's get to that.
So there's my waste clock right there. That's what I was worried about. So pretty much that tells me it's going to be in the bottom of my mold, which really sucks. <laughs> <laughs> so whatever. Keep going. So I stopped in the middle of this, <laughs> thinking about it and thinking. Wouldn't it be really cool if it looked like a planet on the inside? Kind of like with the clouds in the sky up around. Because that piece of box elder is spalted. Even though it was rotten, it still may look like some kind of road map or something with an atmosphere around it. It might, be, it might still end up pretty cool looking. Let's hope. Yeah, this is taking forever, so you notice I went to carbide. It cuts a little faster, <laughs> but it sure does make a mess. Even worse than traditional tools, so, uh, yeah. I don't know, I'm going to just keep plugging at it here, and we'll see where it gets. Okay, so I'm not going to push my luck with a brick being in it that I cannot find. Oh, there it is. Very faint, but that vibration will let that come apart. So I'm going to sand this. And I'm not quite sure. 
<laughs> so I'm not sure what I'm going to do with it. But I'm going to sand it right now. Two to one fast set resin. Can't believe I'm doing this again, but we're gonna do it. <laughs> So my logo is in there. Um, as you can see, right around the edge, I was trying to push the resin up on it. Didn't quite get there as well as I wanted. Um, I like the shiny finish, but it's really hard to get it super smooth unless I want to mess with it. I had to redo it as a second coat, as you can see on the inside. Oh, there we go. So you see all the, <laughs> what happened was, some of that wood, even after I put sealer on it, soaked up the resin, so I had high spots and low spots. So I had to put a second coat on that I didn't film for you guys, because I mean, it's the same process, you understand that? So there's two coats of resin on this, uh, just to fill that. This is not what I wanted, not at all. <laughs> I, I, I guess it kind of does look like an atmosphere. So it does look like a, an atmosphere around it, kind of cool, <laughs> a dirty one anyways. Uh, it, it didn't turn out too bad, but it, you see how it kind of tones them down some. Uh, what I didn't expect was, I don't know if I'll be able to get it to focus. Oh, it's got brush marks in it. <laughs> I didn't even see those, damn it. All right, so it's not perfect, but if I can get this little guy right here, let me get, 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 get me out of the picture here, maybe it'll focus on him. Probably not. So anyways, there is a fly. <laughs> uh, what are the chances I could not know he was in there and stop and not really mess him up too bad <laughs> to where it still looks like a fly? Uh, <laughs> hey, you know, who knew? So anyways, I just noticed this. I didn't notice it before. Uh, <laughs> brush marks. <laughs> So yeah, this didn't do anything I wanted it to do. I really just wanted it to be like this, all of it. Because uh, everybody wants me to use, um, reuse the resin. So you see how much color it has lost, although the bottom is pretty dark, but that's compacted. There was a lot in the bottom and I thought I was safe. Uh, but for the most part, you see the ribbons coming off, they were white. Uh, they, I mean, they didn't really hold any color, so. Uh, I don't know if or when I'm going to get to the other one and turn it. I'm not going to film it at all. I'll probably just put it in the store when I do it. Oh, the Essie store. Yeah, there's a link in the description. There's a link, I think, in that corner on my channel page for the Etsy store. Um, so I am going to uh, put pictures up at the end. Give her a thumbs up or a thumbs down if you didn't like it. You all have a great weekend, and we'll see you next week. Bye-bye.
false alarm. I thought I was going to have to gag in my teethers again. 